Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be discussing Catch and Kill by Ronan Farrow, the Harvey Weinstein uh, takedown book. Stick around and listen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to discuss this book today by Ronan Farrow. Um, a little bit about Ronan Farrow, if you don't know who he is. He's the um, son of Mia Farrow, uh, and there he is on the back. And also, apparently, Woody Allen, uh, though he doesn't look much like Woody Allen. Um, Mia Farrow's other lover in the late 80s was Frank Sinatra. That was her old flame from the 60s. And he looks a lot more like Frank Sinatra to me. And if you read the book, he uh, has a lot more of the balls of the chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra, um, in taking down um, sexual predators. Um Ronan Farrow uh, first came to fame by supporting his sister, Dylan Farrow, who was molested at the age of six by uh, Woody Allen. Um, mainstream media basically shut down the story. And, um, you know, um, that's just been the, the way the way it's been, um, even though it seems like this actually happened. And as um, Ronan Farrow has said, this happened to my sister. And then now Woody, Woody Allen is married to my half-sister at the moment, um, Sun Yi, which is actually true. That's uh, obviously who uh, Woody Allen is now dating. So I think, you know, obviously in the beginning of this book he re-examines the uh, Allen case and um, you know it's, it's obvious Woody Allen is guilty but the main topic um, that he covers is uh, the takedown of Harvey Weinstein himself and this is absolutely an extraordinary case um, and you really really should check out this book because the level at which the cabal will go to to kind of like protect itself and you know it, it goes to show that like he was working at NBC because you know after he broke the Dylan Farrow story he got a lot of uh, press and stuff and he got a lot of um, awards he's won the Pulitzer Prize and um, uh, he was an investigative journalist at the NBC, and uh, he began to investigate a lot of accusations that began to emerge about a famous um, Hollywood um, producer, obviously Harvey Weinstein. And Harvey Weinstein had in, in, had also, um, what's it called, uh, he had employed a company by the name of Black Cube, which is like a, an ex-Mossad company, who would go after Hollywood people who'd made accusations about him. And this is an absolutely extraordinary um, book. I'm only halfway through it at the moment, but, the, you know, I mean, the, basically, I'm at the point where he's getting near breaking the story, but he's had to basically, um, you know, get what's it called a... a, a, ba a a place in the bank, um, what's it called, a, a safety deposit box to put all the evidence just in case he gets killed. Um, because people advised him, you know, you'll get killed investigating this story. And I mean, you know, basically he realized that he was putting his life on the line investigating this. Um, people like Rose McGowan and stuff like that, she had, um, obviously uh, there were accusations uh, against Harvey Weinstein that she had. And there are just hundreds, well, hundreds, I mean, there are at least 20 or 30 actresses who are coming out that Ronan had spoken to and that he'd employed this company, Black Cube, to attempt to attempt to um, basically silence them all, whether it be through bribery, whether it be through threat, threats, whether it be through intimidation. I mean, on his mobile phone, he was getting these anonymous threats and death threats and everything. It's an extraordinary book that examines the takedown of Harvey Weinstein. And if you, you know, if you ever had any doubts whether Harvey Weinstein is guilty, just really take a take a look at this book. It's it's highly recommended to uh, to uh, readers and watchers of the report from Tiger Mountain. Um, it's an amazing book. It does have a little thing about Trump at the beginning, you know, the, the Trump uh, the comment Trump made about touching him on the pussy. But really, uh, I think that's put there to, to kind of like woo liberals in, so to speak, because uh, it says that obviously that was not a nice comment to make or whatever. But really, the book's not about Trump at all. It's only got the opening chapter. But it's really about this kind of, uh, well, Harvey Weinstein is a major Hollywood producer and the amount of... Um, uh, people who've covered up for him over the years. And it also included a number of, um, you know, Jewish producers who are working at NBC who are constantly telling Ron to put the story on the back burner or to, like, bury it or forget it. And, I mean, simply not necessarily because um, they were involved in it, but simply because... Um, it would be bad for your career to do that. And I think that it's an extraordinary book, you know, um, that examines this whole culture. And I guess it launched this whole Me Too movement. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, you know, I mean, there are many accusations uh, about many other Hollywood people. And um, this is just one of them, you know. I mean, for example, there are accusations that Harvey Weinstein's brother is just as bad as, as, um, as Harvey. But, you know, that he was a lot more discreet or that he kept it a lot more on the down low or whatever. So, you know, I mean, mainstream media never covers this stuff. So, I mean, but this story you know again has has blown up and, and is gone mainstream so i highly recommend it to you all catch and kill by ryan and farrow this is uh, recommended by the report from tiger mountain so check it out and um you know find this is proof of how the cabal works and it uses double agents double agents are people who pretend to be 
your friend, you know, pretend to be on your side. Ron Farrow's constantly having people who he thought were his allies who are direct, reporting directly to Harvey Weinstein and this company Black Cube, which is some kind of nefarious um, kind of Mossad uh, like intelligence operation. So it really is a, like a spy thriller, and it's all to do with like the Me Too situation in Hollywood and uh, and in New York and Hollywood and all that stuff. So I can't recommend it to you all enough. So check it out. Thanks.